In this video, my friend Laura and I are going to talk about the pressure of getting married early here in China. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I'm here with my friend Laura. Hello guys, I'm Laura, I'm from Germany and my husband is from Inner Mongolia and I write for the blog Our Chinese Wedding. Yes, check it out, links below. And we're both living here in Beijing, of course. Yes, of yes. course. <laughs> <laughs> of course, she didn't fly over for this video. Oh yeah, just Ling Ling's not that important. <laughs> that jet lag life. <laughs> yeah. I know, on her private jet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of my dreams. <laughs> Seriousness? <laughs> <laughs> this video is yet another AMWF advice video, Asian male, white female relationships and dating advice video I got on this channel every single Friday and if you have any questions about these kind of relationships please find me on social media, Lena Around, Instagram or Facebook or send me an email on info at Lena Around and then my friends and I will try our best to answer your questions. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> Expertise! <laughs> right, so Ling Ling, what's the topic of the day? <laughs> we got a question from one of you guys again, so thank you very much. Love when we get some questions here, you know, it's very interesting to hear your stories as well. Yes, yeah. it is. So this one is a little long. But I'll try my best. Hi Lena, firstly, Tai Xi Xi Nila, thank you very much <clears throat> for your channel. Your videos help me a lot to understand Chinese culture, Chinese traditions, language, and Chinese guys, of course. Haha. <laughs> I'm a Russian girl, 17 years old, but I live in Latvia. Latvia. I met my Chinese boyfriend in Guangzhou in July, so we're together for four months. In this relationship with an Asian guy, I feel really loved. I feel, I feel like I love myself. I think that's what you meant. Sometimes I even feel myself, I feel like a princess because of his, uh, because of the way he's treating me. I've never gotten this feeling from European guys. Yeah, shout out to the Chinese guys out there. <laughs> he cares about me a lot and so on. But of course everything can't be perfect, there's a small problem. Of course it must be just a culture difference, so as, an Euro as a European person you can agree that usually European people start talking about marriage after one to two years of being together. Maybe not even that Not fast. even that, no. possibly, yeah. Maybe more six or ten years. <laughs> or a lifetime. Honey, you wanna get married? I can't walk anymore. I'm 80, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> that ship has sailed. <laughs> um, and getting married in three to five years after being together, but my Chinese boyfriend has already many times asked me about it. <gasps> he says that he's going to marry me in two years. Mm -hmm. It's nice that you get a choice. Okay? Yeah, I love that he has a plan like that. <laughs> the problem is that I'm 17 and we're together just four months. He is uh, two years older than me. He explains it like he is afraid of losing me, so he thinks that marriage can protect our feelings. That's cute though. Yeah, so I would like to ask you, is it okay for Chinese people to hurry the development of relationship? I think she means if it's normal that Chinese people, they hurry. Up when it comes to getting married, so yes. Lola. Well, you're first married. Off, <laughs> I am married. To a Chinese guy. Oh, no, with that. <laughs> first off, yes, I would say it is quite common in China that marriage is a topic much earlier on in your yep. relationship than it would be if we were dating with people from our own countries. For um, a second date, sometimes. Uh, even, yeah. Traditionally, I mean, again, things are changing, changing so fast in China, but traditionally. Yeah. Uh, there was dating for marriage and that wasn't mm. yeah. um, on the first time that I not even on an official date but hung out with my husband he was like my mom wants me to marry a foreigner for the pretty mixed babies and uh, <laughs> my dad wants the foreign passport <laughs> and I was like what stop now <laughs> so yeah and I, I was very vocal about like um no I'm not getting married before 30 because Germans don't marry before 30, which yeah. was slightly awkward when all my friends started to get married before 30 then. 25. I to oh, okay. come up with an explanation for that. <laughs> Making random rules about your home culture does not always work. <laughs> my friends are weird. It's not, it's not, it's not <laughs> normal. It's all bad. <laughs> no. But I think, I mean, your situation, her situation seems a little bit um, quite early. I don't Very know what rushing. Yeah. So the thing is that. 
we when we're talking about these these problems with Chinese guys, it's very much like we have to talk more like age. We have to divide them into age groups mm -hmm. because they're very the, the generations here are very different from each other because of the crazy development over the last 40 years. So there was like the the like 60 plus now people they got married because they had to, and then the 40 plus people. It was also kind of convenient, you know, and for safety reasons. And yeah, this is a good fit. You are nice, and I'm kind of nice, and that's a good match. Mm. No. Um, so then we're going down to like 30 plus and 20 plus and under 20. So this guy, he's 19, right? And I would say that if you're 19 in an urban city or urban area in China, like Beijing and Shanghai. That or Guangzhou, Guangzhou. Where you, yeah, where apparently you're from. Apparently I'm from. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then it's not common that you hear Chinese want to marry at that age. Yeah. Like that's very rushy. I would say, had it been ten years ago in the in smaller cities, yeah. second tier, third tier cities, then even yes. today, yes, still quite common. I Probably. Think. Yes. But but nineteen in Guangzhou. That's early. That's early. Yeah. I feel like it's warmer. I, I, to be honest. <laughs> I, I mean, from I just like, this is probably, <gasps> she might be the first girl that he's dating, from my mm, opinion, because yeah. I mean, in general, yeah. in general, yes, uh, relationships are also being started earlier now in China. But in in general, in the past, mm. dating wasn't encouraged until people started university mm. or were around that age. So that is nineteen twenty. So and aren't they also not allowed to have a boyfriend or girlfriend in high school? Technically, like there are certain restrictions. Yeah, and, uh, I've heard I that you're not supposed you're to not date. You're not supposed to date, really. No. I mean, yeah, again, in the cities, it's uh, it's a chill. It's, it's more earlier chill, and yeah, earlier now. Yeah. Um, but still, so she, you know, if she's the first girlfriend he's had, take it easy, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> um, and seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. You've got your whole life ahead of you, and uh, of course we. She got two years though. Like he did. <laughs> she, she got two years. Out there. <laughs> she got I two mean, years to figure it out. Of course we. We all love a good love story, and if, it, mm, if he's the one, so that would yeah. be amazing. Very cute. But there's also a big chance that he might be the first. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, for some manicured ro romance. What would my advice be? I guess, uh, yeah, I was very vo vocal about not wanting to marry too early on, and I really made that my stance. And mm. um, I think that's what you need to do if you feel uncomfortable. Just be very vocal about it. Tell him how you feel. Say it's a yeah. bit too much. Can we take a step back? Tell him I really, really do love you. But let's just be together and enjoy each other's yeah. company, and then you know, marriage. We can also get married in five years. Like, and do probably make clear that this is maybe something from your culture, no matter whether yeah. it is or not. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that's a good thing. Just Sometimes so we won't get offended. Yeah. We can make it work for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in my culture, in my culture, we don't marry before. 40, which, which, whichever <laughs> age you choose, insert here, ah, you're good. Uh, <laughs> no, but so just, funny. yeah, no, don't let yourself be pressured <laughs> into anything. No, um, you're very young. You're, you're 17. Young. Oh, there uh, are so many handsome men out there. Yeah. So many handsome I Asian guys. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Dragon fruit and mango and more dragon fruit and goji berries. Like, seriously, my grandmother, seriously, it was my grandmother. She said to me, like, I don't know, 10 years ago, when I started dating and thought I was going to be with my first boyfriend forever, she was like, we have a bowl of fruit here, honey. Yeah. And you might like apples right now, but if you never go and taste the pears or the grapes, then how can you know that you just love apples and want to eat them the rest of your life? And then I went to China. And I discovered oh, dragon fruit. I <laughs> discovered mango. I never went back to freaking boring apple again, guys. I hope you Light hope tea. you can see. <laughs> Light tea is really nice. I hope you can see my metaphor here. We're kind of running away with the fruit. At this point. <laughs> it's all about food. Paint a yeah. picture here. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. <laughs> Bottom line is. Take it, easy, Take it easy, especially if you feel it's too fast. Yeah, say, yeah. yeah. And yeah. tell him, be be honest, but don't try not to offend him. Tell, say it's your culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably the easiest one. <laughs> Good luck. But yes. just send us wedding pictures in two years if it yeah. does happen. We've got our fingers crossed. We're honestly. very excited. Yes, yeah. yes, we send are. Send us an invitation. Could be fun. Ooh, <laughs> I'd love to go. Yeah. I love Guangzhou. I Honestly, Guangzhou is amazing. Yeah. I, I was just there last week. I was 
too hot for me. Oh, no, yeah. I stayed there too long. Hot, too hot, too hot. Pick the guy from the right area. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much for watching this little video. I hope that you like Lauren and I's, uh, Laura and I's uh, talk about fruit. It's <laughs> interesting advice, yeah. <laughs> Eat more dragon fruit, guys. That's that's the tip for this video. Well, it is shawarma, so yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, please let us know in the comments below what you think about this problem, what how you would advise this girl. And remember, if you have any questions yourself, then send them to us because we just love to hear them. Discussing, yeah, we love discussing these relationship, cultural issues, and whatnot. So yeah, blah blah blah, blame me, stop. Okay, signing off. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up for this video. Oh yes, oh, oh, yes. thumbs up. <laughs> Lara already left. Dude, I, I'm like, I'm, I need to go buy the dragon yeah. fruit now. <laughs> oh yeah, dragon fruit. That's true. Should we? Yeah, yeah, I've got one in the fridge. Um. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 Go for the oh, dragon fruit. Subscribe and like and link and everything. <laughs> Later on social media. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>